There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, Divas? What's up, Divas? What's up, everybody? Like, what's up? What's up? I hope you guys are all having like, a good day, chill day. It's back to school time out here. Now, let me let me just say this, okay? You ever just struggle with one particular thing? It take you like forever. You just be like, uh, I'm just ready to give up, okay? I'm only saying this because this wig that I'm about to show y'all, girl, I have never, my hands, like my, my finger hurts. Like my index finger is like cramped right now. Because for one, I already was doing hair. I was doing my daughter's hair. I was with braids, so I did that. I did that in a two-day increment. Like, I'm not about to sit here all day and do braids. So, something told me as I was pressing this hair that I should have just really, really, like, bleached the knots. You ever get, like, lazy and you feel like it might be passable? If I would have bleached the knots, I would have had to have washed it. And it might have been a little bit more tame. But no, I ain't do all of that. I just took the hard way out or somewhat easy way out. Let me tell y'all, first of all, I have never had to press so hard and use other tools just to make sure this hair came out straight. Now, when y'all see this hair, what I'm about to show y'all how y'all wig come, y'all gonna be like, some of y'all like that style, and that's cool. That's not that's not my preference, though, okay? I, I like it kind of sleek. But I'm gonna show y'all how y'all wig come and everything like that, but I'm gonna just tell y'all this. If you like it sleek, then my suggestion would be to wash and condition it prior to flat ironing it and hot combing it. Because I, I guarantee you, once you put some really good conditioner in it, it's gonna be so tamed and it's gonna lay much more flatter. Opposed to what I was working with, I had to use this which is a chi flat iron brush along with the flat iron. So it just helps smooth the hair out as you're flat ironing the hair. Sometimes you use a comb, you see people use a comb. But for this particular hair, I have to use this, which is the bristle brush. And I haven't, when I tell y'all, I have not used this thing in years. I have not used this thing in years, like probably like seven years, seven, eight years, the last time I used this thing. So it's called chi air. And it does really, really help to smooth out the hair. I'm like, I'm not saying you should use this on all hair types. I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest that. But if it's a wig, go for it. But it helps smooth out the hair. This is what I had to do to go through to get the wig smoothed out. I wish I would have took the initiative to bleach the knot because it just looked great to me. But then when you put it in the light, it's like, girl, you should have bleached the knots. Anyway, I'm gonna just show you how your wig come. Okay, we're gonna jump right into it, and we're gonna just jump into this video. Okay? Yes, girl. Yes. Usually, I don't post. Usually, I don't post, but I want the world to know. Time to pull a drop top out. Summer nights, it's a vibe, yeah. We've been keeping it in the house. Netflix and chilling, I GDM in, yeah. Didn't want to share my love till I found someone I'm sure of. Young and untamed, I've been out of range, keeping it low. But I want to be bold.
I tell you I worked the sleek into this wig I worked the sleek into this wig like seriously my loving hands sleeked the hell out of this wig now it's all up to your preference of how you want to wear the hair but for me honestly but for me I really wanted it to be a lot more sleeker I'm not into like the really huge bobs the wild bobs you know y'all already know first of all let me just say this but let me just say this Y'all know I just started liking some Bob, so we not about to just like, we not about to go crazy. We not about to go all wild hog crazy over here and start jumping jumping and diving out of nobody's boxes with some big wild Bob. We not doing that. Let me be a little bit tame. That's that's the years in the making for me. Like, that's not right now. That's for years, years in the making. But I honestly feel like I hooked this Bob up, girl, okay? She is nice and sleek. She is a nice length. Now, the one thing I will say, she is definitely big head friendly. When I say she is big head friendly, girl, if you got more hair than I got and it's nice and thick hair, you'll definitely be pleased with the roominess, the roominess of this cap. Straight up, you will definitely be pleased with the roominess of this cap. And like I always say, if, if you're super duper smart, intelligent, you know, honor roll student, honor roll parent, whatever, you got one of those huge brains, that's why your hair's so big, this will definitely work for you. I think they did a really good job on the color on this unit. Like, this is a really good color. Kind they just, like, ombre that in. I like the dark roots. The lace. Okay, so, look. The only thing you got to do with this unit, baby, is bleach the knots. Okay? Like, that was my mistake. I should have bleached the damn knots. But I didn't. So, if you get up close, which I would hope that you would not, you will see the knots. I mean, you might see them from far away. I don't even know. No, I don't want to like overboard with the makeup, but it's like a big pet peeve of mine to put makeup on lace. Like I just can't do it. I just cannot conceal my knots that way because that makeup is just going to eventually dry off, come off because it's not really adhering to it. So then you got to use something like concealer. And then what if that is off when you go outside in the light? So for me, I just really, 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 really need to bleach the knots. Like, that's really important to me. I'm not lazy. Trust me. I be doing so much that sometimes I just don't want to do one particular thing. But I'm definitely not But lazy. it just really is a nice grade of hair. It did not turn silky after a good hard press. No, it did not. And the lace is bomb. Even though I didn't bleach the knots, the lace is still bomb. Disappears, melts, swiss, all that good stuff, and then some. You know what I'm saying? So I, I give it to OMG Her Hair. They did a really great job on this unit. I love the fact that the color is a really like a beautiful color. Now y'all know I don't be doing no bobs, but when I do do a bob, I like a nice curly bob or a nice bob that has some depth to it. You know, when I say depth, when I say depth, I mean volume, not no silky straight bob. I need like a good yakky, a good kinky, a good curly. That's, that is my forte. That is, that's what I, that's what suits me. Okay. Yes. Not too wild though. Not too wild. Okay. OMG her hair out of this world Hair let me know what you think of this bob I think she is rather cute The length is very decent The density is great Okay so it's very natural looking And like I say it is big head Thick hair A lot of hair friendly Okay I will see y'all on the next one Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe Thumb the video up And I'll see y'all later Bye <laughs>